Welcome back everyone. This is session 9 of season 2 and in this session the first thing that we are going to do is actually use a plugin for our date picker. And uh, before we go on we need to first understand what plugin is and actually in a web development world there are lots of different plugins and uh, any plugin is created for uh, a specific purpose for example let's first understand plugins what plugins are and uh, see some of them for example let's introduce some uh, famous plugins for example something like OWL Caru cell it is a um, uh, famous plugin that we can use in our projects for example in web development world there are so many things that you can find in uh, different websites and uh, they are for example look at this this carousel for for example let's uh, see the demo for example this is a demo of a carousel here and carousel is something that can be used in so many websites you you have seen so many different carousels in different websites so uh, plugins basically uh, they are a lot of plugins in the world for different purposes that you can use in your websites so for example a date picker is something that me or so many other people might need a good date picker in their website so that's why a plugin absolutely exists for that or for example carousel for this or for example let's search another isotope plugin there, this is another uh, plugin for example uh, I think isotope let's isotope plugin for HTML CSS I don't know to find that yes this is it uh, and uh, this is the isotope plugin here and uh, it's good for categories for example we can click on metal all the metals will be appeared and we can even sort them okay and uh, for example this one use of this is would be like imagine that we have a website full of products and we can filter for example men clauses women clauses children uh, sort by uh, most expensive or uh, best selling things like that so this is something that uh, could be used in so many different projects so uh, the first thing that I wanted to do in this session was for you to understand what plugin is and have an imagination of plugins and know that there are plenty and lots of different plugins in the world that you can use in your website so now that we have an imagination of uh, plugins we can close all of these and uh, we are going to use a plugin for this uh, birthday that we have we have for this date picker and uh, it's since we this is an educational course it's not a bad idea to see how we can actually import plugins and use a plugin in our website. So let's start working on this date picker that we have and we are going to use a plugin for this uh, birthday section and uh, use a date picker for the plugin. For example, if you take a look at this, I only have to click on this icon only so that I can uh, click and uh, customize the date and also the default format is MMDDYYY and to customize that to change the format it's a little tricky and we already covered that the default date picker uh, I believe it sucks and we need to use something else so if there are a lot of different plugins in the world so what plugins to use we can actually go ahead and search uh, best date pickers for uh, HTML CSS plugins but I have uh, one uh, plugin in my mind this uh, flatpicker.js.org is it's something that we are going to use in our website so any plugin in the world whether if it's this flat picker that we are going to use or, or, or it's isotope or it's uh, that OWL carousel they all have a documentation guiding us how to use that for example I can go in getting a started section and it's actually guiding us how to use that all of these uh, plugins they all they usually have three steps 
the first step is actually including some attachment files to your project and the second part is initiating that part and the third part is actually inside your HTML section that you need to put uh, that code inside your HTML section and change something in your HTML code. So the first thing is here is telling us that you can use NPM in order to install this flat picker. Well, what is NPM? NPM is for Node Package Manager and uh, it's not for us. This is not the way that we are going to use because uh, we are not using nodes and package we are not inside something else the uh, way that we need to use that is actually using this uh, link tag and this is script tag well if you are going to use this uh, flat picker this date picker well there are some person or or maybe a team has written some codes so that we can use those codes in our project well some of the codes they have written is in css and we need to copy that and this is telling us you can actually copy this and it goes ahead and attaches this flat picker dot mean dot css from this uh, url and so we can go inside our codes here inside this section we can actually paste that and we can have some comments here and i call it attaching our uh, let's say date picker css file this would be a date picker css file and i would like to have my comments in uh, uppercase so hit control alt u for that and this one would be uh, our sorry our custom styles this would be and let's comment that with control slash and hit control alt u to uppercase that as well so and i want to have some extra space in my code so that my code is more readable and so this is it the first thing that we did is we actually attached our css file and for the js file uh well we can actually put that inside head section but it's recommended it's best practice to put the script tags at the end of the body tag yes i told you that the, the head section is something for the the content that we are providing for the uh, browser and the body section is the content that we are providing for the user so with this logic yes it's wrong to put the uh, script tags inside the body section to uh, to do that but this uh, script tag is the only exception if you watched this episode 21 of session one I are covered that why it's actually better to put the uh, script tag at the end of the body but uh, so I'm not going to uh, cover that again but it's not something a, a huge deal don't be worried about that it's just know that it's just put, have in mind that we can actually put the script tags at the end of our body section and it's actually a good thing and this one is the only exception forget about that rule that i told you that anything that is uh, because with that logic that anything that is provided for the browser or for the uh, things like that should be inside head section with that logic yes it's strong but forget about that logic because this one is exception okay so here i can add another comment and say uh, in uh, attaching js files and i'm going to comment that so now that we have attached the uh, the files that uh, the for uh, for this uh, plugin that we want to use we have attached a css file here for the css codes that they have written and a js file for the js codes that they have written and uh, do you remember when we wanted to write some CSS code? We what what did we do? We actually went and opened a style tag. Okay, sorry, why it's in uppercase? Let's do that in lowercase. When we wanted to write CSS, we opened a style tag and we wrote our CSS code, right? And for the JS, actually, we need to open a script tag. And again, the script tag is the only exception. And we usually put that in at the end of our body and any plugin that you use for using that i told you that we have uh, three section one including the uh, files the second part is actually initializing that 
plugin and the third one to give some changes make some changes to your html code for example it says that for the usage this is something uh, that uh, we can use this is something that we want to use i copy this section it says otherwise selectors are also supported for uh, it means that uh, go ahead and uh, make uh, go ahead and find something that has an id of my id and make that a date picker so it goes ahead so if i if i paste this code inside my scripts it goes ahead and uh, anything that has this id with the word of my id it goes and uh, applies those changes and make that a date picker for example we have already an id for that let's copy this birthday id here okay okay and save and now what happens is it's it goes and selects every, uh, find in our document goes and searches in our document anything that has a birthday id for example this one let's can hit control d on that to see that so it finds this one that has an id of birthday and makes some changes so this function is something that is written inside this js file that we are going to that we have included and it goes ahead and selects this uh, thing with id of birthday and makes some changes to that and uh, this is some this section is would be a place that we can provide some options we can see later on but for now let's hit refresh and you can see now inside our birthday when i click on this you can see that this is something that is going on and now this is the date picker of this uh, plugin that we wanted to use so uh, the reason that i wa wanted to use a plugin for this birthday so first of all you understand what plugin is and use a plugin in our website the second of all i think it's m uh, easier to uh, customize so now we actually uh, finished our steps the the first step was actually including these uh, sections in our uh, the including these files in our CSS code and the second part was actually initializing that and the third part was making some changes to our HTML code well the, by making some changes to HTML code I mean that okay this we need to have we need to apply a class or ID or something to that for example for that OWL carousel if you write read the documentation it says that go ahead and uh, give a class of uh, carousel to one element the element that you want so that you can make some changes to that and for this one as well we need to uh, apply the birthday id to anything that we want to apply those changes to so now we have a date picker here the date picker is installed but the color palette that it's using is not the color palette of our own we need to customize the color palette as well but if we go and keep on and read the documentation we can see that there are a lot of different uh, options that now we have access to for example uh, if you want to for example these, these are the themes we can change the themes the default theme is that and uh, for example you can use some themes if you want dark theme something that is written already and inside the plugins for example for localization you can read the documentation and you can see that this date picker has a lot of uh, different um, options and it's much better compared to the default date picker for example here let's read the documentation to understand let's say that i'm going to change the uh, format for example the format is now yyy uh, uh, hyphen mm hyphen dd this is the uh, format of the date picker let's see if how we can customize the uh, format do you remember when we were initializing this section here we gave it a this in javascript this is called an object okay this is called an object in javascript and this is an empty object we can hit, hit enter and uh, here and here we can provide some val keys and values inside this uh, section uh, you do not need to know javascript this course is about html and css but when you are working with html css and you are working with plugins 
whether you like it or not, you need to work with JavaScript just a little. So the point is here, so now that I'm telling you here, we can have some uh, arguments here in order to uh, customize our date picker even more. For example, here it's telling us uh, if you, let's copy this one and date format. This is, uh, for example, it says the date format is like this. Why? a big uh, a, a capitalized Y means uh, year with four things. For example, here, you, rather than YMD, let's use Y, sorry, dash D. Let's use something like this, okay? So uh, I haven't hit refresh. For example, now before I do that, it was something like this. Now hit refresh and now it's something like this. See how is how easy it is to customize the uh, format that we want. So we can go ahead and use any format that we want. And let's use small y rather at the big y. What happens is is goes something like this. The small y means only the last two letters of the year. But I don't like that. I want the big y. And in date. For, uh, in date formats, we have some uh, characters that uh, it's good for you to know. For example, let's let's have those uh, here. Uh, y, for example, Y means, for example, in in these characters, Y means something like year. For example, twenty two. Okay, and uh, M is for the month. M is for the month. For example, let's. I'm going to put that here for you so that you have an idea year four digit year it's a four digit year and small y is two digit year okay m is for month okay and actually uh, d is for day okay and H is for hour and uh, things there are so many characters that you can read for the, in the documentation uh, I means minute I means minute because M is already used for the month so we can we cannot use M is minute for example uh, if we put H I here for example hour and the minute let's hit refresh let's choose something and it puts the clock to zero 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 because we it, we haven't a uh, it's it's just a date picker the time picker is not appended here, and we can actually create a, t a date at a time picker for that as well. So basically, we can go ahead inside this uh, thing that we have, for example, uh, to read the documentation, and there are a lot of different ways for. Uh, customizing that and these characters this f y j this this they all have a meaning and uh, it, it if you read the documentation you will find all of them that what these characters mean for example a big f what does that mean actually so this is it so let's come back to the codes here uh, let's put that on the format the format of the thing i want to be like this something like this okay come back hit refresh and in the next session we are going since this session is getting too long we need to customize this uh, date picker in order to uh, style it and make it mm, uh, because the colors that is using like this blue color we do not have that in our palette okay or this gray color we need to change uh, make some changes to this date picker in order to uh, make it better and also we may uh, go to documentation and use something even more in, from this documentation so that's it that's enough for this session in this session all i wanted to do was to for you to understand what plugins are and how we can you attach a plugin to our website and we actually manage to use a date picker in our project successfully so this is it that's enough for this session hope to see you in the next one